They're trying it for the first time. Oh my. That's actually really good. Mm. Yeah? It's good. Perfect. Hey guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you've had an amazing day. So the very first episode of my festive DIY series this Christmas, I am going to be making festive drinks. I have compiled about five to six recipes you guys can try at home. Most of these drinks are non-alcoholic except for the alcoholic Baileys. All these ingredients are available in Malaysia. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first drink we're making is a ginger and cinnamon mocha. This is one of my favorites. In a cup of warm milk in a hob, put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one tablespoon of hot chocolate powder or pure cocoa powder if you prefer, and finally add one to two teaspoons of coffee granules. Whisk till frothy and pour it into a cup. Here I'm making some cinnamon sugar with two tablespoons of brown sugar mixed with a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I put some whipped cream for extra creaminess. And top it off with that cinnamon sugar and voila! For our Bailey's salted caramel hot chocolate, on two separate hops, warm up some milk and on the other, add a knob of butter to four tablespoons of sugar on a low heat. Next, put two tablespoons of plain cocoa powder into the milk and stir to dissolve any cocoa lumps. Get a friend to help you so you don't burn your caramel. I like adding vanilla extract to my milky drinks for that added festive zoosh. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, Add salt to your caramel and infuse it into the hot chocolate once it turns into this light brown caramelly color. Add two shots of Baileys and decorate. Yes! Ah. Oops! Oh hi! <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking it to your room like you asked. I'm a YouTuber! <laughs> yes! I'm a YouTuber! <laughs> the next drink is a hot apple and ginger ale. This is so delicious, you have to try it. Right, so for this you need half a cup of ginger ale, half a cup of apple juice, Four to five cloves, like so, and half a teaspoon of mixed spice. Slice up some oranges. You're gonna need one slice of orange for this. Add one cinnamon stick and stir. Taste for desired sweetness. Remove or strain out the cloves before pouring it into a cup. Enjoy! Our fourth drink is for the matcha fanatics. I couldn't not include this drink because it's my favorite and it's so easy and super delicious. So, to a cup of warm milk, stir in one tablespoon of matcha powder and two teaspoons of that cinnamon sugar for a festive taste. And that's it. Meanwhile... Where are we? We're in City's room. Yeah, I like it. Hang on. Oh, shit. Hi, guys. We're... This is an exclusive backstage <laughs> interview. Where we're we do behind the scenes of filming. Fucking hell, behind the, behind the scenes of filming. Right. Let's go. So you want to see the setup, yeah? What's that? Yeah? <laughs> So this is what happens, you see? Right, it looks like shit, yeah? Yeah, it looks like so. shit, but she'll make it look really, really good and amazing. Look and at this setup. has got tampons on. I know, look at we this. We don't spend any money on it. I know, look at it. Because they're all poor. Where and that is? is real life blood as well, guys. <laughs> yeah. We actually had to like 
put our vaginas on this. Like, there are three of us living in the flat. Did you? Oh, is that what it, it we represents? We were all on our period at the same time. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is an exclusive backstage exclusive with <laughs> <laughs> Bralix. Um, we hope you enjoy the video. Now, let's go see what the master is doing. Should we go see? <laughs> let's go see what she's doing. Come on, let's have a look. What is What's she doing? Come on. Oh, look, there she is. Hard at work. Hard at work in her natural okay. habitat. You have to put this in the video, okay? Okay. You have to. Okay. Oh, look at her. Like, she goes. I need my camera ready to film. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to your viewers. Hi. <laughs> the drink that we're going to make right now in this station is... We are going... Okay, let's just put all of this aside. We always have that one friend at Christmas who's not really a fan of hot chocolate. So if you are that person or you know a person who is that person, um... You can try this drink out. It is a cranberry and ginger ale cocktail. Mocktail, no. Cranberry, let's go again. Cranberry and ginger ale mocktail. We're gonna to take a cube of ice. Or two. Doesn't really matter. We have a cranberry juice, so you just put that at the bottom. Oh yeah. And ginger ale. Ginger ale just works so well in the Christmas season. I don't know. You guys should definitely try this drink out. Yummy. Oh my god. I'm so blooming hungry. And then you get some mint over here. And you just kind of infuse it in there. What else? Right. I'm gonna get a decorative orange slice. Just put it there. And that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is your Christmas drink. I'm gonna go closer to the camera. Voila! I'm gonna give my honest review and try it for you guys. This is, a, this is actually the this recipe I got from Zoella. Um, so I'm gonna try it for the first time. Of course it's good. Of course it's good. Mmm. Wow. So yeah, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys try it out. And if you do, send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter, whichever. And I hope you guys, like I really hope you guys try these out. They're super, super delicious and super, super easy to make. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas season. Next video will be probably next week. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious. Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Hey guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. I'm Stay Curious.